How to replace a defective motor from a Jensen Fico 8 watch winder with an LCD touchscreen. The required tools are a box cutter knife or sharp blade, a screwdriver, and some tape. First, flip your watch winder over on its backside and locate the two holes with your fingers. Then take your cutting knife to cut an X shape on each hole to expose the inside. Each hole has a screw in it. Take your screwdriver to remove them. The holes will be covered with two black EVA stickers at the end of the process. Take out all the spring watch pillows from inside the watch winder. Pull upwards to move the interior board. Remove the board by lifting up the bottom part first. Pull up and towards you. Use the bottom corners of the board to tug and wriggle it out. The two wooden blocks that you see should not be blocking the way from the board being removed. You could also use a soft towel or gloves for your hands during this stage. Use the watch pillow areas to have a better grasp when removing the board. When the board is out, place a soft fabric or towel on the watch winder box frame for it to lay on. For this next part, we will have to remove the first five wires that are connected to the red circuit board, starting from the left. Once that is done, the whole board can easily be taken out from the watch winder box. Now remove the watch pillow holder that is connected to the defective motor. Take a piece of tape that is about 10 inches long and use the back side of your screwdriver to stick one end of the tape onto the black EVA pad that is in the watch holder. The pad can be removed if you pull up with one hand while the other hand is keeping the unstuck part of the tape from moving. Remove the screw that is in the center of the holder with a screwdriver. The holder is now free to be removed. Flip the whole interior board. You can see the eight black motors and the two red circuit boards that control the functions and LCD touchscreen. The black wires are from the motors, which are connected to the red circuit board's white slots. Now locate the defective motor and remove its black wire from its designated slot. Use a screwdriver to remove the three screws from the defective motor. Replace it with a new motor. Screw back in the three screws. Connect the wire of the new motor into its designated slot on the circuit board. Next, fit back in the watch holder.
screw back in the screw in the center of the holder and then place back the EVA pad. Place the interior board above the watch winder box to connect back the wires. Starting from the left side of the red circuit board is slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Looking inside the watch winder box, starting at the bottom right are two wires. The wire on the left connects to slot 2. The wire on the right connects to slot 3. The wire located at the back of the watch winder box connects to slot 4. The wire at the bottom left corner of the watch winder box connects to slot 6. And lastly, the wire on the left wall of the watch winder box connects to slot 7. Lay the top part of the board on the ledge of the watch winder box, located below the LED light strip. After the top of the board is on the ledge, gently nudge and press down the bottom part of the board. Make sure the two wooden blocks will pass through. Screw back in the two screws that were in the holes at the bottom of the watch winder. Cover the holes with two black EVA stickers. Motor replacement is now complete. Your watch winder is now ready to use. Thank you for watching.